The Fuse UK podcast is proudly sponsored by EcoSmart. EcoSmart help people to find the most suitable and affordable solutions to reduce their energy bills. They will assess your property and determine which system would be the most suitable for you to power your home with cheaper, greener energy. Not just that, but EcoSmart can also provide scaffolding services, that can change charging ports at home for your electric cars and many more services that can provide. Call them now on 0800 222 9532. Eco Smart, leading the way in renewable energy. Next guest on the show tonight, I met this guy down at the BKFC tryouts in Liverpool, made a good show, done some good sparring, was good on the pads and everything, stood out in the heavier division which is why we're seeing him on the Prospect Show. He's fighting Lewis Francis on the 14th of October in Liverpool on the debut Prospect Show in the UK. It's Florian Della Morte. Is that pronounced right, bro? Hey, hello. Yeah, uh, pretty much. It's Florian Della Morte. So just a short at the end. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> it's a no, French I'm... name. I can't even speak any word in French, um, but it's from my <laughs> wife, so took it over. All oh, right, mate. Because you saw where where's it? You're originally from? Are you French originally? No, no. I'm from Germany. Uh, my whole family comes from Germany, and even my wife's family is from Germany. But some time ago, some years, decades ago, they were in France. So, yeah, this is where the name comes from. All right, Kushti, mate. So, how's things? Anyway, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, it's Monday. I'm a little bit tired, to be honest, and excited for the podcast. It's the first time for me being on a podcast like this. So. Thanks for uh, the chance. Appreciate it. <laughs> How no are you? Problems. I'm all good, thank you, mate. I'm excited for doing the podcast um, with yourself, like myself. How I was going to start it with you, mate, is where did it all begin for you in the combat sports? Where did the journey begin? Is it something you've been into from being a younger lad? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much like I'm, I'm 30 now and it's 17, 16, 17 years ago when I started with boxing and... Uh, Back then, like like every kid in Germany, I was playing soccer, football with my yeah. friends, um, but never never really was in love with it. Like I played it because all of my friends did, <laughs> and we just met there and we were all play soccer. And then it was around 13, I think, uh, when everyone decided to to play soccer on a higher league, and I just was the last one on the club and decided to do what I like. So <laughs> I started with combat sports, and um, <laughs> even back then, um, I already wanted to make. Uh, to to start with mixed martial arts, but back then it was it wasn't yeah very known over here in Germany. It was free fight at one club and Balotudo in another club, and I had to travel long ways to get there. And back then, with with 13 years of age, uh, I had to go by train and buses, and so it took me hours and hours <laughs> to get there for just one hour of training, and then traveling back all the way. So after I think. Not, not even a half a year, I decided to do something which is which is near to me. So I started with boxing um, at a club here in Cologne. And yeah, then I did boxing, I think, for something around like seven, eight years. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, that's my starting point. <laughs> yeah, so, so was that like your main sport and background in martial arts? That's your strongest point, your boxing? Yeah, for sure, for sure. This is, this is where I really started it, yeah. Because when, when I've looked into you, it seems like you've done a bit of MMA as well. Is that right? Yeah, totally right. L like I said, back then, it wasn't I wasn't able to do mixed martial arts here when I started. Uh, so I started with the boxing, did it seven, seven or eight years, only on an amateur level. Um, won some, some little regional championships, nothing spectacular. Um, and then decided to move on, going to kickboxing, uh, then doing some wrestling, doing some jiu-jitsu put it all together and go to mixed martial arts um, where I became a professional um, here in Germany, fought on, on some, some bigger events, um, but nothing too big quite right now. Yeah, and obviously now you're turning over to the bare knuckle. How did the BKFC tryouts come about for yourself? Yeah, that's, that's a funny story. Like um, in Germany, like I said, common sport isn't that big. Uh, I, I, say, I, I would say there are not that much of events i would fight much more if i can to if i have the chance to i would nearly pick every or, or take a, every chance i get for a fight um so i had a lot lot on the horizon to come but it never never really happened like uh my, my opponents missing out on the fights and stuff like yeah. this um 
so I, I always said when there is a chance I will go for it because it's kind of my dream uh do this professional providing providing for my family making some money with this I think this is everyone's dream <laughs> who's trying something like this so um and and then it was yeah not too long ago six weeks when, when were the tryouts three weeks three weeks ago four weeks yeah I've like like four weeks ago I think yeah and I think I think three weeks prior to this uh I was on vacation with my family I was laying at the pool and then I saw on Instagram the final call for the BKFC tryouts BKFC coming to Europe um making the first trial event over here and uh I'm I'm a follower at BKFC and Bernard boxing for quite a while and yeah. so all right this is my shot so I was laying at the pool and say all right I'm gonna go there and uh, <laughs> just just signed up for the tryouts and then came over and was a great event really I I appreciate it. it was big fun for me lots of good people um yeah. big fun meeting you over there was really great so did you travel over from Germany to the UK yeah yeah right oh, um nice. yeah yeah and it's it's a little bit tricky because uh the trials were in Liverpool also where the event on the 1st and 14th of October will be um and there's no direct connection to come over to Liverpool so uh, I had to go from Cologne where I live to Düsseldorf fly from there to Manchester and then I took an Uber <laughs> for the last last I don't know 45 minutes it's not that far yeah so it was a bit of a travel and uh but it was totally worth it absolutely yeah of course and you've just been announced that you're going to be fighting on the 14th and it's yeah. against I uh, you have sparred him with one it Lewis Francis you were sparring him yeah. on the day tryouts yeah. weren't you yeah we were we were it was uh yeah not, not nothing bad to say about this guy he's really nice guy um I liked it we, we sparred at the event at the tryouts um I think it was good um caught him with a, with a right overhand pretty good um but he did a great job like I would say technically he might be the better boxer he has a longer range uh, yeah. uh range and did, did a good job of defending it um but I think this is where where it gets interesting especially in bare knuckle like you have two heavy guys with heavy yeah. hands it's only one shot away so looking forward to fight him on the 14th of course and uh, when you got this fight offered to you what were your thoughts when they said right we're offering you Lewis Francis was it just yeah straight away yeah for sure for sure absolutely you, you could have they could have ever offered me anybody <laughs> I I really don't care that, that it is Lewis I'm, I'm really glad because I already know him we sparred yeah. it was fun um I think we're gonna deliver in a fantastic show gonna be a banger somebody's going to sleep um for sure like always in the heavyweight division um yeah and just just there to to deliver a big show a firework <laughs> and best case I'm looking forward to send him to sleep so that's what we do <laughs> yeah. class and with you saying that you've been interested in the bare knuckle and BKFC for a while is there any fighters that you sort of look up to or any fighters that you're a fan of uh not not a, not a real fan I would say not, not a real fan I just I just like the action it's it's different yeah. from from usual Olympic boxing or of professional boxing if you want to make a difference between that um yeah. just just different from boxing with gloves it's more like yeah even my when, when you look at my transition from the from the combat sport where I started with boxing and then turned in, it into MMA it was because like I said I'm I'm a heavy guy but I'm not a tall guy and when you yeah. do boxing um it's pretty much about your physics it's pretty much about your range if you have a guy who's really tall and and big and he can and can fight good from the outside you as a little guy or as a, as a smaller guy always have to take some punches to get in and then fight and when it is Olympic boxing you have one problem you get in you might fire one or two shots and then there's the ref says okay break <laughs> you go back and start again from the outside um and this this were the point where I said all right let's do something else back then in my in my history I started kickboxing because every every time he hits you can kick he kicks you can hit so it's more like like one-on-one -on -one, more more uh yeah material war and yeah. uh and this is this is what I'm looking for here because there's always a chance to get in there's a chance to stay in on the bare knuckle rules like this there's no real break you can hold you can fight you can punch um so I think it's it's pretty good for me pretty good fit 
Yeah, of course, man. Do you do you have you heard of Gostja from Germany who fights? Gostja, yeah, America? yeah. I I heard about him. I saw his fight. I I saw his fight, and I even reached out to him prior to to coming to the tryouts. Yeah. Um, just just via Instagram, just wrote him that I that I want to go there, and if he has any tips or something like this, um, he answered. He just said deliver. <laughs> and yeah. This is this is what we did. Um, pretty good. Seems to be a nice guy. But never met him in person or speak to him really directly. Yeah, Kushti. And before we wrap it up, mate, what can we expect to see from Florian on the 14th in Liverpool on the prospect show? Amaka, this is what I'm going for. All in. All in. I'm going to be in his face from the first second on. Going to go forward all the time and punch as hard as I can. This is what I'm trying to do. And, and for me, it's the only way to win a fight. So this is what I'm doing. And... No offense, all respect to Lewis. I'm looking forward to fight with him. And uh, yeah, one of us will get a contract. So let's pick it up. Great stuff, mate. I'm really excited for the fight. I can't wait for it. And obviously, before we wrap it up, is there any sponsors, anyone you want to give a shout out to? Currently not. Um, like for sure, there are some gyms I'm training. So I'm very thankful for, for all friends, my family, wife, children, everyone who supports me um to the gyms like it's like it's ill by sports here in cologne and it's uh mma musketeers in Wuppertal, and um, where i go to sparring sometimes so uh thank, thanks to those guys but currently i don't have a real sponsor like you see my my shirt is blank if anybody is interested and in, uh and putting his name or his logo on, on me i would be glad for that and there's a lot of space it doesn't come through through the camera but <laughs> you can't have a big logo on me for sure <laughs> Great stuff, mate. But well, I really appreciate you coming on, pal. And um, we'll stay in touch and do some more work closer up to the event. Yeah, for sure. Looking forward for that. Thank you very much, mate. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, pal. Thank you. You too. Have a nice day.